Now, you must uh, be excited that uh, charities from all over the uh, region uh, raise money for the Freihoffers Run for Women. That has to make you feel cool. We started that program in, uh, in 1989. Um, we wanted to do something for the local charities, and uh, um, right now, currently, that that this will be its 23rd year. Uh, there's uh, 65 charities participating, and we've raised uh, close to a million and a half dollars for those. Um, and Joan, you walk with your charity. Yes. Did you? Uh, yes, I have. AIDS what, what's your charity? Uh, the AIDS Council of Northeastern New York. Okay. Yes. And you've been able to make a, a difference through your involvement in the Fryhoffers Run for Women has helped them as well? Sure, yeah, we've been able to do that. And uh, it's, a, it's a great, again, the camaraderie at the, at the walk is fabulous. And, and to have people come out and be able to raise money uh, in an event like that is, is terrific. And those people who want to come from Syracuse and Buffalo, you mentioned the Capitol, the walk goes right past the Capitol and the executive mansion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they can uh, say hello to uh, Governor, Governor, Cuomo, yeah. Governor Cuomo. He yes might be jogging around a little bit as well. Well, yes, he, he's been invited, so hopefully he'll show up. Now, people can participate as groups or as individuals, and, and either one of you, I'll just, who wants to field this one, how can they participate as individuals and, you know, by themselves or in a group? In terms of volunteering or in or, terms and, of and the, the, being uh, in the race? And being in the race. George, I'll turn that over to you. Okay. Um, well, again, you go on the website. Uh, we do have, uh, in, of course, individual registrations are open now, and we're gonna, we're probably gonna take uh, 4,500 uh, participants. That's uh, what we feel the course can handle safely. So we're getting close to that number now. So I would urge any of your your viewers who ha haven't uh, signed up to do so quickly. Um, you can go online and. Um, uh, you can uh, participate individually, as I said, or as a team. And the team categories are uh, five teams. Uh, uh, Mother-daughter team, sister-sister team, uh, corporate team, uh, high school team, uh, or friends and family team. Now you alluded to the route. What is the uh, route that uh, right. the uh, race goes? Well, it starts uh, on Madison Avenue in front of the New York State Museum right. at the Empire State Plaza, and it finishes there. It starts and finishes right at the overpass. Um, and it runs up into Washington Park uh, via the Willett Street Avenue uh, entrance to the park. It goes down around, down past the lake uh, and out onto Lake Avenue, Lake Avenue to Western, <coughs> Western to Washington, Washington, Henry Johnson, Henry Johnson back to Madison, and then there's a shot, clear shot downhill right to the finish. Matter of fact, from, from uh, uh, Lark Street, you can see the finish line from Lark Street. That's how, uh, you know, because you're right. up, up high at that Delaware Lark Street intersection on Madison, you can actually see the finish line almost a half a mile away. Talking about the route, I'm already exhausted. <laughs> yeah, well, it really draws you in the finish, and that's why the race is so fast, and that's why we've had uh, international and national records set here, because that last mile is, is pretty much downhill, and you know, these runners, these international professionals and national professional athletes are so, they're, they're like little wisps, you know? They're light and, and they're light on their feet and they just, they scream down that hill. It's, it's a lot, of, it's really kind of cool to watch them. If there's anything about the Freihoffers Run for Women that uh, you feel people should know and why they should participate, would you share that with our viewers? Yeah, Joan, is there anything you would like to share about that? Why? Well, I think um, we should mention what a great opportunity it is, it is for an entire family. Right. Uh, it really, the, the event, there's the race, um, the, the, the showcase of the event, but the entire day is really a great event for the family. Um, from health and fitness uh, activities that you can be involved in, the various runs um, that George mentioned, there's great entertainment on that day that's going on throughout the day, uh, lots of vendors with activities uh, for kids 
kids, for men, for women. It really is a, a great day uh, for the whole family. We try to cater to the family. Well, that's why we added sure. the mother-daughter teams. We had 150 mother-daughter teams last year in the run. We had 75 sister-sister teams. Those are two people teams, you know. You run with your sister or you run with your mother. Yeah, and, and, and I can say, and I'm not a runner myself, but I did take the opportunity uh, to do a mother-daughter team with my, my daughter, and it was the first time she and I had ever run in an event. And it is quite special to run across that finish line holding the hand you know, of your daughter going across, e even if you're way at the back of the pack, yes. it's still it's still thrilling. Well, you know, a lot of the spectators, they line up underneath the overpass, and they really cheer when they come down, and the echo from that overpass when, you know, you're coming down the hill and underneath it is just, it's it's deafening, and well, it's so exciting. Well, it's, it, it's an incredible event. I mean, the mobs mm -hmm. of people there, and... I don't, mobs has a negative connotation. I don't mean out of control. How about especially, throngs? Uh, <laughs> yes, right. Uh, we're not talking Cairo here. <laughs> we're, we're talking uh, about uh, a lot of people there. but 15 to 20,000 spectators. It's astounding to see all of those people together, yeah. and everyone is having a good time. Yeah. That's where the entertainment comes in. You know, we, yeah, I was, was going to ask you about that. Um, you know, you know, you brought that up about the entertainment. What bands are coming this year? What entertainers? Uh, well, we know Captain Squeeze and the Zydeco Moshers will be there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because they were our headliner band last year, and they, they really had a great time. Uh, and, uh, and so they'll be back. And uh, we've got uh, four bands uh, on the course to entertain the runners as they go by certain points of the course. Um, and we'll have entertainment at the, the start-finish, uh, musical entertainment, where we feed the runners. Of course, the kids' run is going to take place now. I told you about the 50-meter right. up to the two-mile. It's going to take place uh, around the reflecting pool this year. So we'll have a lot of activities for the family uh, up there as well. And then, of course, the Capital Care Health and Fitness Expo, uh, all of the vendors and everything will be underneath. It's important for us to keep them out of the weather because, you know, uh, as you know, it can get quite windy up there on the plaza. It can be anything. It could be. It, it can be 100 degrees, and, and you'd be yes. boiling in the sun, or you know, it's a little chilly. Yes. yes. You're and right. and uh, I remember one year it was very windy, and it caused mm -hmm. some problems with uh, some of the uh, tents. It doesn't take much time for the wind to whip up there. It comes right off the river. Now, Joan, what are besides uh, you guys, the Capital Care Medical Group? What are some of the other vendors who will uh, be participating? There will be a lot of uh, sports apparel vendors, um, as George mentioned. There will be uh, chiropractic and uh, massage there. Uh, other. Uh, people focusing on nutrition, um, all sorts of uh, vendors who have tie-ins to health and fitness. And I did want to mention before when you were mentioning the kids program and the junior program that we also uh, have a focus in our booth on nutrition for our kids. We feel as well as the exercise and getting them started early, we really want to get them started early thinking about you know food that gives them good energy so that they can be strong uh, athletes and and do well. So we also have a focus on uh, nutrition, not only for adults but for children in our. And that's a good booth. point because when the when the athletes, these uh, international stars and national stars, when they go out to the schools, they always talk about nutrition. It's one of the first things they talk about. Regular exercise <laughs> and and healthy eating uh, is going to keep you strong and happy and healthy your entire life. Besides. Uh, it sounds like people that are into the sport, you said you uh, sports apparel uh, mm -hmm. vendors. What other related vendors like sports apparel would be there? Well, um, um, last year, um, um, the um, Fleet, Feet. Fleet Feet Sports um, brought in uh, about 18 vendors that uh, sold shoes and exercise equipment and things of that nature. Um, Reebok was there and um, Atonix and <clears throat> several other vendors that they do business with. We call it the Fleet Feet Marketplace. So, you know, I mean, you can go down and buy your whole wardrobe for the whole year right there at the uh, 
the Capital Care Health and Fitness Expo. Now, parents that want to get their uh, children involved in the uh, kids run, how do they go about that? And what for the kids run? What is the age demographic for that? Yeah, the um, the kids run uh, the 50 meter up to 800 meters, which I, I mentioned is going to be running on the uh, Empire State Plaza around the reflecting, reflecting pool. pools. Right. It's going to go up to uh, eight years old. Okay. And then how young? Not uh, four and under. Okay. Little toddlers. Cutest okay. thing you've ever seen, you know. Mom running with her little daughter. They all get a box of Fryhofer's chocolate chip cookies. They all get a T-shirt, and the event's totally free. And it's boys and girls. It's boys and girls. Right. Now, also, too, uh, you happen to bring this here. Do uh, kids, do the participants get the uh, Fryhofer's uh, T-shirt? Yes, they all do. Okay, you want to talk about this year's design. This is the 2011 design. It's a, it's a real cool design this year. But that's all I can say. I was sworn to secrecy <laughs> by, okay. the, by the ad agency. But it's it's really nice. I've seen it, and and uh, it's very appealing. <clears throat> okay, they're going to love it. Okay, when we roll it out, and you have it in uh, all sizes. Oh yeah, okay. extra small uh, up to uh, up to extra large, uh, and it's a woman's cut, um, and it is a moisture management shirt. It's a uh, 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 what they call a technical shirt this year. Okay. So that's a big change. Okay. But yeah, it's it's going to be it's going to be special. And everybody that participates gets one. They go, all the kids. The kids will get a, a, a design shirt that is uh, you know the graphically designed for them, uh, fun graphics. You know, kids graphics, and that'll be a a, a hundred percent cotton t-shirt, uh, as will the community walkers. Yeah. So we 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 purchase uh, and uh, and design. Uh, about 7,000 t-shirts for the day. <clears throat> now, you have, um, over the years, you see organizations that have been involved in events, they say, wow, the economy uh, can't do that anymore, they pull out. But Fryhoffers has stuck with you guys for uh, 33 years. That must mean a lot to you. Well, I mean, it's incredible. I, they should they should get a an award for the longest. <laughs> At least a chocolate chip cookie. The longest. Well, they make those. They can <laughs> I, I have know. those all the time. But they should get an award for being the longest sponsor uh, continuously in an event. I I don't know of any other in the nation that has sponsored an event <clears throat> for this many years. It's really quite incredible. A, a running event, I, I should say. Tell us about the Fryhoff for people and why this event means so much to them and why they were there from day one. Well, I think it's because. I think they want to say thank you to the consumer. Uh, I think they feel that the, the woman uh, is the decision maker when it comes to um, the family groceries and, and, and their shopping. And so they want to give back. They feel that these uh, women have supported them all these years and made them the company that they are. So this is their way of saying thank you. Again, the uh, Capital Care Medical Group is involved in this event, and for two days, you're offering uh, medical screening, yep. medical uh, consultation at the Empire State Plaza. And could you just share again with our viewers what sure. you know you're we'll, offering? Sure, we'll be offering uh, several health screenings, and participants uh, and everybody is welcome. What's your definition of a health screening? Well, what we're offering this year, we'll have uh, blood pressure screening, cholesterol screening. Uh, we'll have a test to screen for asthma. Uh, you can uh, have a body fat analysis and a BMI done, uh, and you can do as few or as many of those as What's you'd a like. What's BMI? Uh, In my business, it's broadcast music. Oh, it's body mass index. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's body okay. mass index, and. Um, we also have a terrific interactive um, section of our booth for children to do screening for autism, which I feel is very unique uh, in terms of offerings uh, at these sorts of events. So that's very exciting, too. Uh, you can do as few of these or as many of these as you'd like. And it, again, it's open to everybody. So whether you're a runner, a family member, or a friend of a runner, or you just happen to be uh, in downtown Albany uh, on the 3rd and 4th and would like to have some health screenings done, uh, please stop by. We last year provided over 1,600 uh, free health screenings um, to the community. But these uh, mobile uh, health care screenings, have you uh, found over the years at the uh, Fryhofer's Run for Women that somebody thought, oh, what the heck, I'll try this out, and you've caught something? 
Well, it's important to know that, you know, we are not the physicians for everybody who comes through our booth. So right. uh, we have certainly had situations where there were some screenings done that uh, indicated some elevated levels that were, were troubling, and, and we encourage those uh, Participants to, to contact their their own physicians. Many people, you know, are coming from out of the area. So, um, yeah, we always encourage uh, folks to connect with their own physician. Um, and and the thing that has been very gratifying to us, a little sad, a little bittersweet, is that we've been able to provide screenings for a lot of people who don't have any other options because they've indicated they're either uh, underinsured and so they can't get these kind of screenings with the particular health benefit that they have or they don't have any insurance at all and they're really relying uh, on, on us to come down and, and have these annual screenings done to keep a check on their health. Oh, that's great. Thank you for your service to the community and the region. Yes, thank you, Joan. 